For Stoughton Tornado Survivor Ann Worth, August 18th, 2005 began like any other day. I went to work in Sun Prairie that day, worked all day and came home. The day would quickly turn memorable for Worth, her family, and her community. Around 6.30 p.m., an F3 tornado ripped through Worth's neighborhood just north of Stoughton, destroying her home and sending her sister to the hospital. Earlier in the afternoon, after returning from work, she went out for a drink at a local bar. While there, she received a phone call from her visiting grandson. Grandma, where are you? Why are the sirens going off? She then rushed home. Worth and her family, including then-husband John, her sister Mary Catherine Bryan, her grandson, and her mother, watched the TV for weather updates. Eventually, all but Bryan headed to the basement. We couldn't get my sister downstairs because she was in the living room in a hospital bed. Brian had been diagnosed with cancer and moved in with Worth several months before the tornado. In the basement, the family crowded into a closet under the stairs. When the tornado hit, Worth said she could see light through the ceiling. Everybody was pretty scared and didn't really know what was happening. After the winds died down, Worth and her husband headed outside to find Brian. They soon found her in the driveway covered by debris. Brian was taken to Stoughton Hospital before being flown by med flight to UW Hospital in Madison. She suffered a really badly broken ankle and several big, really bad cuts and gashes. Not anything they could really do for her because of her cancer and so forth. Brian died at a hospice facility two weeks after the tornado. Before she died, she described her experience to a friend. Um, later, before she passed away, told one of our good friends that it felt just like she was kind of floating through the air on a magic carpet. Worth lost numerous family treasures in the tornado, but others, including John's wedding ring, were recovered. We did salvage quite a few things. Ten years after the tornado, Worth still holds on to mementos from the storm's aftermath, including letters from strangers in the Milwaukee area who found photos and documents of Worth's on their front lawns. One letter read, Dear Worth family, this letter has been sent to me by airmail. I am returning it to you with my deepest regret as to what has happened to possibly you and your community. My family is hopeful that you can rebuild your life and find the brighter side what has happened. You and many others are in our thoughts and prayers. And though her damaged home has been rebuilt, signs of the tornado's impact remain visible today. Reporting from Stoughton, I'm Logan Reichstad.